All right, in honor of uh, reaching 75,000 subscribers, I thought, you know, this is, it's, it's, it's a milestone that I might as well um, do a video specifically regarding that because it's, it's kind of big. It's three quarters of a way to 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I wanted to talk about some stuff that's coming up. So um, we'll likely have the new set up and running before the end of the month is what it looks like because we're moving. And of course, I've mentioned before, one, set of, one side of the set is right here where the jerseys start, and the other side is right here where this bookcase is. And this is the back, and that's the space I have to work with, which is uh, not nearly as big as what I'm going to have. Um, and I, I've, I've shown uh, people on Patreon, I've shown them some of the stuff that I'll have on the new set. And I wanted to show those who are subscribers some of the books that have been collecting um and and sort of waiting because you know when you're doing videos during the year there's a lot of stuff to report on during the year and then when the year's over that's when people say well what are you going to talk about during the summer glad you asked um and and i get that question a lot so for for people who wonder um this is a wonderful book sent to me by a subscriber which i absolutely intend to go through with a fine tooth comb and find all kinds of awesome uh topics for for discussion from the World Hockey Association and what happened with that, why it failed and all that wonderful stuff. Um, blue pucks is an interesting idea, um, that kind of thing. Um, so there's that. This I just got yesterday. This is uh, Jim Hines and Gary Smith, Saving Face, the art and history of the goalie mask. And it goes through the history of masks uh, worn by goalies. And just in general, this is really kind of fun. And what's nice is I got this... Uh, and all the pages are crisp because it's never been worn before. And it, it even goes back to like historical masks. And it goes back to like, this dates back to like 8000 BC. And they point out how it sort of shaped like a goalie mask. Uh, so that's that's a fun book and it goes right through like the 70s, the 80s and all that. And, and how the different kinds of masks, what they were made of and the safety uh, built into each uh, generation of masks so I'm looking forward to getting into that and uh, of course this one I've had for a while and this one's got all kinds of fun stories in it uh, the book of jerseys uh, just random page Sunshine Hockey League Chris Caulfield uh, another random page there you go champions of the world Ottawa Senators Frank Niver so uh, lots of fun stories in this one uh, tremendous stuff in there and uh, this one that I've been looking at for a while in my collection quest for the cup again I'll just open to a random page and there's New York Rangers Boston Bruins Ottawa Senators so for people who, who watched the the history series last summer and thought well how could Shannon do that again pretty easy uh, there's lots of historical stuff involving the NHL and while I used this one for the history series last summer I only scratched the surface. This is an absolutely huge book. It is... How many pages is this? Uh, 925 pages. But it has it has the records of every single player that played in the NHL. So where when you buy the... Uh, well, you can't buy them now. But when you, when you buy the uh, guide and record books, uh, it'll show you the, the record season by season of guys who are currently in the NHL. For retired players, it just shows you the, the career totals. So, what got me with this one is the fact that there's Bronco Horvath. Like, this kind of stuff. Um, Larry Hopkins, Randy Holt. Randy Holt, of course, who uh, put up a ton of penalty minutes in the NHL. Um, he had 1,438 penalty minutes in 395 games. So, if I wanted to do videos on, on old um, stars of the game, induct, say, Mark Hardy into my... THG Hall of Fame, it's easy enough for me to look through, and it tells me all of the trades that took place. Everything is in here, so I'm not done with that book by a long shot. And uh, I'm also uh, saddened that this is the last of, of these books. They didn't make this this year because now they have the NHL Records site, so since the NHL Records site is updated uh, regularly, uh, this book is now is now done, so this is the last one of its kind. Uh, which means I should take better care of it than I do. But these are things that happen. But uh, yeah, so there's there's tons of stuff for me right now. Uh, I, I've got all kinds of hockey cards um, for, for my birthday last week. 
Um, my wife went out and got me a bunch of cards, and the most exciting one I pulled was a Topps Steve Shutt from 1981, which made me think, I haven't done a Steve Shutt video. Steve Shutt, of course, was a big part of the um, Montreal dynasty in the late 70s. Uh, and then the card right behind that was uh, was E. Satikin and from 1989. So uh, that was kind of fun. And, and it, <clears throat> you know, getting these cards, and they're, they're from the dollar store, right, so they're cheap. Uh, it's it's always interesting to me who's in here, which cards I get, and uh, there's always something fun with almost any of these cards that I get, even the old Bowmans that are kind of ugly looking and all that. But yeah, so there's there's a lot of stuff too, and for the for the new set, um, there's going to be all kinds of hockey pucks that are going to be uh, um, there. Uh, now, how I have them displayed and how I figure all that out is a whole other challenge. Um, but I got this from, from the Vancouver Canucks yesterday. This is for sale on their site for 10 bucks. That's for, of course, Chinese New Year, Year of the Pig. And if they do that every year, um, I will definitely buy a puck every year. The jerseys, the Canucks wore jerseys for the warm-up. They wanted $588 for the jersey. Um, I might have choked when I saw that price and said, yeah, no, uh-uh. But it, it does look like um, we'll be uh, getting me into the new set within the next uh week and a half and uh at that point we'll see how things look for the the trade deadline the trade deadline of course on the 25th and that's going to be a big day there will be a live stream for that uh because it's always fun to have the reactions in real time by both subscribers watching and and sometimes my reaction i guess could be kind of um noteworthy uh, for certain trades that get made where I might be looking for something back. It's not going to be as interesting this year because there's there's really nobody in terms of rentals from the Canucks that I'm, I'm you know, like really excited about what they might get back or the potential returns because the Canucks aren't going to be sellers or buyers. They're probably just going to sit still at the deadline. So, yeah, um, it'll it'll be a fun day for us uh, as, as, uh, as hockey fans. Um, but there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that uh, I, I've been looking forward to. For instance, um, thanks to a, another purchase for my birthday um, by my wife. Now, uh, down in Mexico, you can get masks for dirt cheap. Uh, so I, I, I think this 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 could work for a lost hockey guy. Now, now the trick is this. Um, on... On, on Wrestle Talk, uh, Lori Blake was El Fakador. So before he, he became a regular on Wrestle Talk, he was wearing a mask and he was El Fakador. I do not want to do a take on that, nor do I want to talk with a, a, a Spanish accent and seem offensive in the process. So it's a matter it's a matter of finding exactly the right the right tone for Los Hockey Guy and the right time to use him. Uh, might be for the next Batman video. Sort of, a, I'm in the witness protection program because of what I said last year about Batman kind of thing. But you know, it's it's kind of fun. And there's actually two masks here, and I'm not going to show you guys the other one because I want that one to be a surprise. Because that could be Los Hockey Guy Part de or Dos, you know. Uh, so there you go. Uh, lots of fun stuff on the way, and I thank you guys for supporting the channel and and helping it get to where it is now. And I, I greatly look forward to where it's going from here. Um, you know, every day it, it grows, and, and for that reason, I'm eternally grateful to you guys. And and once I've moved into a place where, you know, I'm I'm not in, in a small living room, I'm in a I'm in a den rather, and, and that it's the entire room is the set, so I can turn it. I'm excited about the fact that I have more than one uh, easel now, so I could have more than one board up and just turn turn the camera, so I don't have to to, to say, oh, I'm changing boards. I got to pause. I don't have to worry about that. I can just keep going and just turn the camera and and go from there. Uh, it is, I've been buying stuff little by little by little over the last six months with this goal in mind. And and now we're finally there. And of course, uh, Gritty has to be, you know, uh, uh, featured prominently on the new set. I'll figure out something to do with that Gritty Young Guns card. Uh, so stuff that people have been sending me, and there's little things all over that people have sent me over the last couple of years. I have thrown absolutely none of it out. Uh, I will get as much uh, uh, displayed as possible. Uh, some of the action figures I got, as you see, I've, I've got some of them packed away into storage. Uh, some of the ones... Oh, don't, don't make the camera do that, Shane. Some of the ones that were up top. And, and if, if people are paying attention, they'll notice that the studio light's reaching further into the corner because I've got all kinds of stuff out of here already. 
So the corner's much better lit now than it was, say, a couple weeks ago. But uh, yeah, so it looks like it's gonna it's gonna happen over the next week and a half. And uh, for people who've offered to help us move, um, unfortunately, we may actually take you up on that offer, and no no take backs. So uh, <laughs> if you've made the offer, we'll come get you, because uh, we're probably gonna need the help. Uh, there's there's you know when you've got three kids and and the cats have done squat. They haven't packed a box. They haven't done, they don't seem to care. So their packing skills suck. And for that reason, uh, it's it's tough. I've even tried to get little backpacks for them. And no, they just, they won't pack anything. I think it's because they don't have thumbs. But uh, they're coming with us too. So uh, the, the one thing that I would throw out there is if you have a cat allergy, you may not want to help us move because uh, you're, you're going to be sneezing and coughing pretty darn quick. Uh, but there you go. Um, thank you guys for making all this possible. Thanks for helping this channel get over 75,000. And, uh, I will certainly continue to provide you guys with as, as much varied content as possible. And I am greatly looking forward to being able to, um, to get things done in, in a different manner, more efficient manner. And, uh, I'm really looking forward to everything, even just changing the lighting because I have two studio lights. I don't just have this one, this one here. Yeah, I don't just have that one. I have another one, too. I just, there's there's nowhere to put it. So the idea is then we could get rid of the shadow that's on one side of me at all times, and we could figure out the lighting so that it, it works. And then the lighting, we could just change it for each spot in the room, wherever I'm going to be standing, make it work, you know, optimally. Which in this place, we've always, it's always been kind of makeshift. So uh, I'm looking forward to changing that. And thank you guys for all the support to get here. Uh, I will definitely, definitely, um... Yeah, I'll take people up on 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 the offer to move because yeah, we yeah we could we could we could use it. So there you go. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.